Diet can have a large impact on behaviors for patients with intellectual and developmental disabilities, or IDD. Many patients are at greater risk for nutritional deficiencies due to limited food preferences, dietary restrictions, food sensitivities, and allergies. Patients with IDD often have food sensitivities to gluten, lactose, and dyes. These sensitivities or allergies can lead to gastrointestinal disturbances, which can cause pain leading to negative behavior. For this reason, it is important to rule out GI sources of pain such as constipation or celiac disease when trying to identify a cause for behaviors. Additionally, blood sugar control is an important factor to take into consideration when caring for this patient group. As part of their care, many IDD patients may be taking a number of medications, many of which have side effects of weight gain and increased blood sugar levels, leading to higher risk of obesity and diabetes. Much like neurotypical patients, IDD patients may become irritable, dizzy, or confused when their blood sugar is low. The difference is that an IDD patient may not be able to communicate this to their provider, which could result in more extreme behavior. In preparation for an appointment, it may be helpful to suggest to the caregiver to pack extra snacks in the event the patient's blood sugar drops prior to or during the visit. Given the connection between diet and behavior, it is especially important to evaluate what the patient is eating. Any dietary restrictions should be carefully reviewed with the patient and their family or caregivers to ensure adequate nutrition and also maintaining appropriate blood sugar levels and accommodating any food preferences, sensitivities, and allergies. Mm -hmm.